today is a time for performing minimally invasive procedures from head to toe gone are the days when you do an open surgery we have today the facilities through which we can do a minimally invasive work give a cosmetic scarless surgeries this is something which is very close to my heart now when you say minimally invasive i have two ways of doing this one which is endoscopic or laparoscopic and the second which is robotic or what we call as a rabbit approach not just rabbit approach but other approaches as well let's discuss one by one the first is the laparoscopic approach which the vietnam group has been doing on a regular basis that is you gain the access to the chest and go on to the neck you use a laparoscope you use a laparoscopic instruments to make your way from the chest through the collarbone from collarbone into the neck and you gain an access to thyroid thyroid goiters of any size say up to 10 cm is still accessible not just unilateral you can also do it on bilateral that is on both sides so sky is a limit when you do transaxillary you can remove thyroids of any size for me the contraindication is if the thyroid is showing a extra thyroid extension there are huge gross nodal metastases i would still like to go open up and do it properly or for that matter the disease which has gone into a superior mediastinum this is one a laparoscopic approach a robotic approach you are using a uh, recently xi systems or for that i would not like to quote any robot but robot system used to have access to thyroid either transaxillary that is to the chest or that is what we call as rabbit approach that is bilateral axillary bilateral uh, aerial approach that we do or to have a trans oral that is totwa approach that is we do trans oral uh, access to get into the neck through a trans vitreal vestibule of the of the mouth and then we get an access with our three arms of robot going into the neck and trying to extract the thyroid tissue which is diseased again mind you for us again the the dimensions that i prefer to operate for this kind of lesion is up to 4 cm something going more than 4 cm i would like to open up or do a trans axillary approach trans axillary approach can also be gasless or with gas for both robot or for both robot and for laparoscopic but gone are the days of a gas we are now doing a gas like technique gasless technique for endoscopic as well as for a robotic approach now the side effects and the complications that are associated with this are minimal in this new era with new techniques being applied we see new other different kind of novel type of complications for the apical plexus injury but those are very rare injuries to be seen so this injuries that you that you encounter are, are quite minimal but of course if you go through the through the oral cavity through the vestibule you can have a sound a certain amount of numbness some panstasia you can also have edema for a prolonged period of time around the around the neck but this all are not life threatening they can be managed very easily so uh, i would say that the benefits way over the complications and hence can be can be attempted by anyone who is trained in laparoscopic surgery or a robotic surgery i am dr snehal shah i am a neck cancer surgeon i also deal with benign and malignant diseases of thyroid i have i access them through robot as well as through a laparoscope and open approach as well depending upon the indications to follow more for this technique please visit my website thank you so much